Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday and we are in the middle of a freezer and pantry challenge. We're trying to use up stuff that we already have on hand. Also wanted to let you guys know to stay tuned to the very end of this video. Several of you have asked about Harrison, which is our newborn baby. So I do have an update to share with you at the end of the video, so stay tuned. But let me show you what we're having for dinner tonight. We are having um, a meal from our freezer. This is from Trader Joe's. It is fettuccine with mushrooms. So here is the package for that. And then here it is in the plate. It's a really quick skillet meal. It's done in less than 10 minutes. So here it is on the plate. And we are also having some garlic Parmesan breadsticks. And the breadsticks are from um, Tom Thumb. And it's their brand, the store brand. And here they are. This is what they look like. And these were in our freezer as well. Wanted to use that. And then during a recent trip to the grocery store, I grabbed some salad for us. This is Taylor Farms chopped salad, excuse me, Caesar chopped kit, easy for me to say. Has romaine lettuce, um, crouton crumbles, Parmesan cheese, and Caesar dressing. So here it is in the bowl. So this is um, the salad, and it's pretty good. We've had this before. Of course, it does not look anything like it does on the package, but we still really like it a lot. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so let me show you what we are having for dinner tonight using stuff up from our freezer. Um, so we are having little sliders that Howard grilled and we're also having some hot dogs. I'll show you that in a second. So what we are using from our freezer is the ground beef and also the bacon. Let me show you my plate first. So I always like my burgers toasted. So these are lightly toasted buns. Then I have some bacon on top, some American cheese, this lighter. And I'm a minimal minimalist when it comes to burgers. And then I'm having some extra crinkle, um, extra crispy crinkle fries. So let me show you the fries that we are having. So we're having these crispy crinkle fries from Marita. And then we finished up a bag of these golden steak fries. They're on Howard's plate. We didn't have enough for both of us. That's why I had to open up the crinkle fries, but both of them came from the freezer. Howard also grilled these Smokies. We really like them a lot and I've showed them on other What's For Dinner videos. So let me move over to Howard's plate and show you his dinner. So he is having sliders. You know that he likes a lot of stuff on his burger. So on the bottom, he has some mashed avocado. He has tomato, the burger, of course, and he has some cheese. And then he is also having a hot dog in addition. And then he is having um, the steak fries. So this is his plate. So are you the type of person that likes a lot of different stuff on their burgers? Or are you a minimalist like me? Let us know in the comments below. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight. We'll be eating off of this for a couple of days and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are having another meal from our pantry and freezer. So um, I made chicken spaghetti. It is a one pot chicken spaghetti. It's a new recipe that I tried. I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box, but it was really simple to make. Um, and so from the pantry, I used a box of uh, spaghetti and then I used a can of Rotel and a can of cream of chicken and mushroom soup. It called for cream of chicken soup, but um, I had this in the pantry and I wanted to use it. It also called for eight ounces of Velveeta cheese and I had um, a one pound box in the pantry, so I just cut it in half and used that. I'm gonna stick the rest of this in the freezer and then use it for another recipe. I'm not quite sure um, what yet. And then in the freezer, I had um, some broccoli left over. Um, that I wanted to use up, so I just steamed this in the microwave. Normally I stir fry it, but I just didn't feel like it today, so I just popped it in the microwave and steamed it. And so um, this is what we are having for dinner tonight. Oh, I forgot to mention. So the, um, the spaghetti calls for chicken, and I had some frozen chicken breast in my freezer that I needed to use, so I just cooked them all. I just cooked up the chicken breast and used some of it for this recipe. The rest of it I just chopped up and I'm gonna put it in the freezer, so I forgot to mention that. So um, this is what we're having for dinner tonight and see you guys next time. 
Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having La Madeleine, which is a restaurant. It's like a um, fast service French restaurant, um, and it's really good. So some friends from church brought us dinner tonight, came over to meet Harrison and brought him um, some gifts as well. And so um, this is Howard's. He got the, let me open up the top so you guys can see it. We got the, uh, it's a chicken pesto pasta. Um, so here it is, and it came with a baguette. And then I got a sampler, and so it came with a chicken friand, it's called chicken friand, which is kind of like a, it's a flaky pastry crust. And on the inside it has mushrooms and chicken, it's really good. And then you put this creamy mushroom sauce over it. So you can either get the chicken free on or you can get half of a, um, what's it called, a quiche. But I wanted the chicken free on, it's really good. And then you get to pick a soup and a salad. So I picked the tomato basil soup and then I chose just their um, regular pasta salad, which is really good. And um, she also brought us a dessert from there which is really nice of her. Um, so this is a, excuse me, this is a fruit tart right here. And then this is a lemon tart. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so let me show you what we are having for dinner tonight. We are having a meal by HelloFresh. My boss came and visited me this week to visit or to meet Harrison and visit Harrison. And this is one of the things that she brought over was this mail from HelloFresh. We've never um, used HelloFresh before and um, it serves too. And she brought us the Southwest beef and pepper jack tacos with poblano and lime crema. So that sounds really good. It says it's ready in 30 minutes. So let me show you um, what came in the little box. So here is the little uh, plastic container. Oops that it came in, it says HelloFresh, and this was kind of wrapped around it, I took it out. So in the box came this ground beef, and it's not a full pound of ground beef, it is, I just saw it on here, I think it's like 10 ounces, there it is. 10 ounces of ground beef, and then it comes with the seasoning, or the spice blend, so that goes with the beef. And then it came with a, um, came with some peppers, um, the flour tortillas, there's six of them, um, Cholula, and a lime, pepper jack cheese, and onion, and then it came with some red wine vinegar, and then of course it comes with the recipe card. So it gives you step by steps, step by step on what to do. So it says, you know, wash and dry all the produce, you're gonna chop it up. We're gonna make some pickled veggies in the crema, and then flip it over. And then you cook up the veggies and the ground beef, and then you fix your taco. So I was gonna try to show you this step by step, but I don't think Harrison's gonna cooperate. So uh, I'm gonna prep everything off camera. Actually, Howard and I are gonna prep everything off camera, and then we will come back and show you our plates. So see you guys in just a little bit. All right guys, so here is the finished product. Here are the tacos, and so, the recipe said that you should um, heat up the tortillas in the microwave, and I never do that. I always cook mine, um, or heat mine up on the burner, on the stove, excuse me, stove top, with a little bit of oil, so I did that. And here is the inside. So we've got the meat on the bottom, you can't see that very well with the crema, and the pickled onions and jalapenos, and then the um, jack cheese. And then for the side dishes, I made some um, refried beans. And so I used this from the pantry and I doctored mine up a little bit. So simple recipe, all you do is heat up the refried beans on the stove and then to it, you add a little bit of sour cream. So I probably added about a fourth of a cup of sour cream to that and probably about the same amount of taco sauce. So I added that. Um, stirred it up, combined it well, and then I poured it in a little eight by eight um, casserole dish, and then I topped it with cheese, and then I baked it. So that's how I doctor up my refried beans. It makes them kind of taste like restaurant style. 
And then um, we are having some rice. This came from my pantry as well. This is the rice that we are using, the Mahatma garlic and olive oil jasmine rice, quick and simple. Um, oh, and for dessert, I forgot to show you guys, uh, we have a place called the Buttermilk um, Sky Pie Shop. Here is what the bag looks like. Looks like that. And they're kind of like a nothing bunt cake, but they make little bitty mini miniature pies. And um, they also have large pies as well, but I had a coupon for buy one, get one free. And so this is Howard's. He wanted to try their signature pie, which is the buttermilk. So here it is. And then I am eating, it's called an I-40 pie. And it has pecans, and you can't see it very well, let me get in closer. It has pecans, chocolate chip, and chocolate chips, and coconut. It's kind of like a um, pecan pie with um, the addition of the chocolate chips and the coconut. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Okay, so here is Harrison. Look at that little smile. He is seven weeks old and his personality is still pretty much the same. He's still a calm, sweet little baby. He does have a little bit of colic, so we're working with that. Um, but he's generally, when he's up, he's generally, you know, has a happy disposition just like he has right now. So he's super sweet. And isn't his outfit super cute? Um, Kenyetta and the name of her channel is K Renee, and that's K, the letter K, and then Renee, R-E-N-E. -E. She sent him this outfit along with two other outfits, and I'll show those to you in a second. But definitely go and check out her channel. She does um, like grocery hauls and retail hauls, um, you know, motherhood vlogs, stay in the life vlogs. Check out her channel, and I'll make sure to um, post it in the description box. But I wanted you to see Harrison. Harrison, Harrison, he is such a sweetie. He's a cute little baby. So let me show you the other two outfits that she sent him. So what he has on now is zero to three months, and. So I'm gonna move the camera around a little bit. She also sent an outfit for three to six months. And then, isn't that cute? Oh, I'm covering it up. It says, yay. So that's the little onesie. And then here's a little pants that go with it. Super cute. And then there's one for, um, I think this one, bless you. That was him. Um, this is, wait, I'm sorry, I got it mixed up. So this is, okay, this is three to six months. Maybe I said that. This is three to six months, and then this is six to nine months. And this one says, happy, 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 little onesie. And then here are the little pants that go with it. So I was super appreciative and grateful. That was so sweet. Thank you again, Kenyetta. Um, for sending us this these super cute outfits. So thanks so much for watching guys. See you next time.